Welcome to Boxhead Nation, and I'm your host, the Boxhead Gamer. Today you'll join me in my adventures in Minecraft Dungeons. Let's see how it goes. So now we're on to Obsidian Pinnacle. So this one is a fun one to grind through. I enjoy uh, running through it on the hardest difficulty because uh, you have a chance of getting the Shadow Cloak. Wait, no, Ghost Cloak. Uh, what am I sick from? Uh, the doctors don't really know. I just uh, end up uh, throwing up every day. They haven't really figured out what it's going on. It's just been happening for three years. I'm trying to get disability. Because it's, it's been rough. The Arch Illager fled to the ramparts of High Block Castle. But honestly, I have like too many health issues to really count. I got so much going on <laughs> that I need to get uh, figured out. I'm actually going to be going to the doctors in the next couple days, so hopefully they'll figure some stuff out. Honestly, I'm just thankful to have very understanding parents who are kind of helping me out during this uh, situation, because if I wasn't getting help, this would be a lot harder to manage and deal with. Possibly on Friday, though, I might be doing, uh, well, depending on if my dad is working, I might be doing a stream with my dad, so that'll be fun. Uh, they haven't really, uh, narrowed it down to anything. They, they've figured out some of the triggers for what makes me sick, like some of it's allergies, uh, some of it's stress, so I'm seeing a, a doctor about my stress, but yeah, they haven't really narrowed down what the, the issue is. I think one option they came up with is a uh, cyclical vomiting syndrome, but honestly, I I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of deal with things how they are, you know. It's it's not good to worry too much because it just uh, stresses you out. And stress is stress is honestly one of the worst things for your health. If you stress too much, it can make you sick. So Thank you. 
they're all spawning over here. Curious as to how well this uh, weapon's gonna do against the final boss, though. Oh, I got a level up. That's always nice. think my appendix is uh, having issues because I, I don't typically have too much pain but I can imagine that being very just unbearable is uh, just getting sick in general is kind of lousy so I can imagine having the pain in addition to that yeah that would be no fun at all But it's a good thing they figured out was wrong and helped you out with it, so that's always nice. It, it's terrible that people have to like deal with illness and stuff, but it, it's good that there's people out there helping to take care of the people who are sick. That's why I, I really commend doctors right now, because uh, in the time we're in right now, doctors are just... Uh, Awesome. Oh, which way is the main path? Okay, so this is the side path. We'll clear this out. Get some loot, maybe. Oof. And I'm probably gonna save these TNTs for the redstone gold. See how much health I take off of it. What YouTubers have I watched? Um, I watch a lot of different ones, but growing up I watched a lot of Yogscast just because I enjoyed the Minecraft content they put out. They do a lot more uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town now, but it's it's still good content. I like their uh, personalities. Uh, another one I watch is uh, Zilbrad. He's an Apex YouTuber, and then I watch uh, I watch some kind of some documentary like ones like brave wilderness he's a guy who like uh does a lot of studying of animals and stuff but he also he also lets animals sting him he'll like let a bee sting his arm just to tell people how bad the sting is like to give a level of it like which sting is worse in the animal kingdom like a murder hornet or like a japanese wasp it, it's honestly interesting. I, I I wouldn't do that myself though. I <laughs> I am not a big fan of uh, bugs, so the idea of being stung by like an insect is uh, not not my uh, 
choice in life, if I should say. Oh, <laughs> looks like those TNT are gonna do nothing. <laughs> is that way, so I'll go this way. Oh, there's nothing back here except that redstone golem. Uh, one thing I have contemplated doing is uh, doing a podcast, but um, I don't really have the best setup for doing a podcast yet. I have like a good microphone that I can use, but I don't have like a good space that I could do the podcast in if I did a podcast. Uh, I, I live in the U.S. So right now it's a uh, like the after well the evening for me. Okay, so once you uh, beat the first redstone golem on Obsidian Pinnacle, you'll enter this uh, indoors bit where there's a lot of bookshelves and stuff. In this area, you'll find the next rune to unlock. You'll want to come into this uh, big er open area over here. And uh, you'll see that there's an, a wall back here that you can't get through. But if you push this book, it opens up the bookshelf, and it actually opens up the next area for the rune. There will always be a chest here, so you can kind of get loot. It's not always the best, but it's a good area to get loot. Um, I'm like, uh, I, I, I don't know. I. I don't know where it is. I'd say it's like a uh, southern, southern kind of kind of middle, but not entirely middle of the U.S. It's just the southern states. I'm not very good at uh, <laughs> ge geography. <laughs> it was not my strong suit in uh, high school, nor in college. I just know I uh, live where it's Eastern Standard Time, so EST, that, that's the big thing that I know. And now we're on to the second goal.
Now we're gonna go explore this way a bit. Oh, another golem. And there's probably gonna be one more golem up here. I'm just glad there was a chest this way. Uh, I, I live in uh, Georgia. It's a, it's a nice state. Big one. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm not really going to reveal any more information because I don't really want to give out like my address, but I will say I do live in Georgia, so it's a nice state. It does get a bit hot here from time to time, but it's not as bad as like other states. Some states get like really, really hot. And I don't think I'd be able to live there, because I do not do well with heat. Georgia's hot enough as it is for me, honestly. Oh, New York? I've, I've honestly wanted to visit New York. That'd be a cool place to go. And, because I'm a, I'm, I'm a foodie, New York has a lot of, like... It's very multicultural in New York, and I'd love to go to, like... Uh, Chinatown and all the different areas in New York and try like different uh, nationalities of food because that's that's what I love I love traveling I haven't been able to do much traveling recently just because I, I don't have uh, good money coming in but once once I get money coming in I plan to do traveling and maybe do some actual travel videos where I uh, kind of show what's going on and share my experience because I feel like that'd be kind of fun Like, I'd really like to travel and go to some of the gaming conventions. Those, those feel like they would be a fun thing to go to. Like, uh, PAX or, um, uh, I, I can't think of the... There's PAX, and then there's, um, what is it, e, E3, maybe? Is that it? I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> There's another chest here. Doesn't really have anything I want, but I'll scrap it for emeralds. Oh, Minecon? Yeah, that'd be interesting to go to. I've never been to, like, any real conventions. Other than when I was in uh, in high school and I did FBLA and I went to the FBLA like uh, competitions and stuff, those those were a lot of fun. I enjoyed uh, getting to meet new people and uh, just the experience. Because most of the time for the FBLA, you would uh, end up staying in a hotel with a bunch of your. Uh, classmates and friends you know who uh, are also part of the group and you would get to um just take part in various business competitions Teleporting. That's... <laughs> the 
this is the most annoying part of fighting the boss initially. He does that whole teleporting thing and it makes him kind of hard to pin down. Time for my uh, death cat mushroom to recharge. I can beat the boss without losing uh, losing a life. That would be nice. Whew. I almost died to those lasers. And now we'll see the final cutscene. I, I, I love the look of like the stuff that spills onto the ground though. It looks like it looks like uh, the portal that you see when you uh, leave the end after you beat the Ender Dragon. That's what it looks like to me. The Arch Illager, the enemy of the villagers, was defeated. Yeah, I just find it kind of... It's kind of nice that they, they managed to befriend the Illager, even though he, he's done all this terrible stuff. Thanks to you, all was well. Until it wasn't. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Catch you on the flip side.